Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Izam. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create this burger in vector art. I think it looks cute and I think it looks very simple and easy to do. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, let's begin. So I'm going to start off with using a 5 size document. Gonna, okay, so let's begin by drawing a rectangle. A tall rectangle, something like this. This will be the height of the burger. I'm going to make the corner radius rounded. Set the corner radius something like this. Okay, we have a little bit of flat at the top, curve at the sides, and that's it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this, just copy and paste. So now we have, so now for the bottom one, we're going to set a diff, um, we're going to set the corner radius slightly different. This will be a bit more squarish. This will be the base of the bun the bottom of the bun. So now I'm going to cut this rectangle and leave just the bottom bit here. So about there. I'm using this big rectangle to cut it. So I have to select this together with this. So press this button to select multiple items and then press this. Now I have that. Next what we need to do is cut this top part over here so again the same way use a rectangle I'm going to draw a rectangle here and just leave it at the top here so it's again use a selector tool multiple selection select these two things and use this button to cut and there we are so this is done next what we need to do is select both of this and I'm going to change the color of the fill to this color alright and I'm going to turn off the strokes I don't want the stroke yet we'll come to that later on so the next thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer but first this let's rename this original layer to buns and this top layer let's call it outline so for this outline but before we do it let's lock this layer the original layer and just leave the outline i'm going to turn off the original layer as well so that we don't see it we only see this now what we can do is turn off the fill and turn on the stroke so there you have it. For the stroke color, this is the color that I go for. So take note of this code. You can key in this code on your own. So now that we have the stroke, you will see why it matters later on. So we have the outline done. So let's turn on the buns. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is the meat and the vegetables. So an easy way is to create a new layer and let's call it the meat okay next let's draw a rounded rectangle again so do this draw like this okay so the size the width of the meat will be slightly sticking out of the bun and now let's do a corner radius to the fullest Alright, we're going to set the fill and this fill will be this color but not exactly, it's going to be a bit lighter like that. I'm going to save it into the palette, the color. So now we have this, all good to go. Next, what we're going to have is a smaller element, a smaller size of this. Alright, so an easy way to do that is just to duplicate but before that let me just tell you that the stroke width that I go for is five points for all of these outlines for all of these outlines all right stroke width is five it looks good this way next let's duplicate this 
burger, this meat, copy and paste. And use this selected tool and drag it over here. Done. Next, again, I'm going to paste it. And this time for this, I'm going to set the color to a different one. This will be somewhat. Oh, sorry. Remember, change here the fill color. The fill color will be this. It's going to be a maroon or red, reddish color. This will represent the tomatoes. I'm going to resize it, something like this. Now, take note, once you resize, the rounded corners do not appear very good. So you have to readjust the rounded corners again to make it fully rounded. Now that we have this, let's copy this and paste it. And let's drag it over on this side. We have this now. Let's put it closer so that there are no gaps between the lines. This one as well. Okay, just move it closer like this. All right, so you don't see any gaps at all. Done. For this, let's bring it down like that. Next, we're going to copy this, copy and paste, and bring this up. For this, let's change the fill color to this. Maybe it will be slightly a darker orange, perhaps. Something like this. Yes, okay. So this is good, I think. And I am going to make it slightly smaller like that and then make sure you resize the corner radius and copy and paste and drag it over here and I'm going to press this duplicate button and move it over here okay so I'm going to turn off this duplicate button move this one slightly here and this one over here okay see that see to it that there are no gaps or overlaps okay i'm going to do a multiple selection this this and this turn this off and i'm going to bring all this downwards like that so that i don't see any gaps but if you can see there's a gap here right so turn on the multiple selection and let's bring it down turn this off and done all right so this is done now we need some space for the vegetables we need the vegetables here and down here we're gonna have to move the buns later on or move this guys so but first let's make the vegetables for the vegetables let's create maybe let's just make a copy of this copy and paste and bring oh, sorry select the pointer tool and let's bring this up we need to change this let's change the size okay make it taller and change the fill color to green like that this is the code in case you want to know so next use this anchor point selector and i'm going to add some points here one two three four five six seven same goes with the bottom two three four five six seven so now we have seven additional points actually 14 additional points what you're going to do now is double tap so that you can have a curve here but first we let's drag this downwards like that drag it inwards okay and begin tapping on all these points so it will give you a nice curvature 
Okay, we are done. So we have this, the vegetables, and we need to copy and paste it over here. And everything looks good. Now for the vegetables, we need them to be on another layer. All right. So it's multiple selection. Tap here and here. So we select both of this. Turn this off and see the scissors button tap on it to cut now let's go back to the layers panel press add another layer type in veggies vegetables and press paste now we are pasted on it now for the meat the outline remember that the outline is here the outline has to be above the meat next what we need to do is we need to position reposition all these so turn on unlock the bun layer select this and do a multiple selection or maybe not we are just going to move this downwards like that okay see that there is a gap here we don't want that so let's move this vegetable down and there are some lines here that are not very nice so select this outline and bun and move it downwards so that you just see curves here and we're done next what we need is some sesame seeds for the sesame seeds let's just draw it on the bun or maybe not have it on another layer seeds it's just going to be some circle, so select the circle tool and let's draw. It's not going to have any stroke, so turn off the stroke and let's have it a fill, a white color fill. So let's drag this over here and turn on the duplicate and drag over here, over here, and maybe over there. And we're done next let's create some shine some lighting on the bun so we need to have another layer let's call it lighting for this lighting it is very easy we don't need to use the outline so we're going, i'm going to turn off the outline for the moment but we do need a copy of the buns so just take this copy and make sure you have this layer selected and paste it there we need to have a different color and let's make it white but it's not completely white we have to change the opacity all right this opacity will be this about here all right so now what we have here is a copy of the bun make another copy copy this and paste it in i want you to do this drag and and slide it over here okay and make it bigger okay such that the top is extending above the original bun and the bottom as well outside of it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to select this new shape and select this one as well we're going to cut this thing so use this path and tap here now we have a nice crescent here okay we're going to settle all this later on again we're going to copy this copy and paste now we need to have another copy of this copy and paste there we have two change this color white so that we can see or uh, maybe I think let's not have the fill turn off the fill turn on the stroke now we only see the stroke okay I want you to move it like this like that and now let's select this and this together we're gonna cut this using this use the path panel and tap on this now we have this 
shape over here we can cut this okay now be careful we don't have another copy of this for this one let's change the color so that you can clearly see use white then bring down the opacity okay now what we need is a copy of this again and this copy belongs to here so we need to have a copy of this and make sure you paste it in this layer paste now let's check it this you need to bring it over here below the curve below this shape that we have just cut so that we can cut this using this but what we need to do first is this we need to increase the size resize it so that it is bigger than the shape so that this shape the top part extends above and the bottom one extends below covering it okay so now we have this let's do a multiple selection this and this okay make sure you select this too go to path cut now we only have this very nice we need to change the color of this fill tap here and tap white and change the opacity like that but well, we're not done yet we need to make this corner rounded so that it will look nice okay so add another anchor point here and here using this tool over here select this one and press the trash button now you have this handle drag like that so that it is curvy easy peasy right okay so that's it let's do something similar to the bottom here we need to have a copy of this copy tap here copy be careful we need to paste it into this layer so paste now so now let's change the color make sure you change the color to white set the opacity like that about half or less than half make another copy of this copy and paste all right so now we need to move this downwards like that we're going to use this to cut this into this all right let's do that it's multiple selection tap here and here and use the path panel and cut done again remember we need to curve this so select this use this tool over here and tap here and here select this and press the trash button there so now just double tap here and make a curve and this one i think we can trash it we can bring it down and curve it and we're done actually we're not done yet remember the crescent over here we still lack that we need this so tap on this press copy and make sure you tap on this layer and press paste we need to have another copy of this but first let's change this copy the color change the white set the opacity lower then make a copy of this and move this okay drag this over here done multiple selection use this and this and now you can cut there and we're done we need to place this vegetable layer above so now let's turn on the outline and see how it goes okay good now can you see that the outline is actually below the lighting so we need to bring this outline and put it above the lighting we miss one thing in a burger and that's the cheese so to do the cheese let's have it inside the meat layer and now let's create a cheese using the rectangle tool and draw something like this a square so for this square use the fill change the color to yellow and i'm going to use this selector tool rotate and move it over here okay as you can see the cheese is sticking out what you can do is use the anchor selection tool 
tap on that point and press the trash button and we have this use the selected the pointer tool and put it over here well you see you can put it over here I think it will be good below the vegetables I think it looks good alright so the cheese is just sticking out so another thing you, that uh, you can do is to have a flag so I have a, another layer this new layer put it right on top drag tap and hold and drag it on top I'm just gonna put here flag and let's begin use a rectangle draw, it, draw this and I'm not gonna have an, an outline here so I'm just gonna turn off the outline the stroke and I'm gonna put this over here I'm gonna change the color to this same color as the outline next I'm gonna tap here and draw a square like that I'm gonna use the pointer tool and rotate and here I'm gonna have a stroke for this one but I'm gonna change the color the color will be maybe maroon color I'm going to switch to this tool, press this button over here and tap the trash button so that I have a, a flag, something like this. I'm just going to resize this like this. I think this is okay. I'm going to select both of this and bring it downwards so that it touches the outline. Alright, so that was the burger in Vector Art. I hope you can follow through the tutorial. I hope it's easy for you. If it's not, you can simply just rewind and follow through again. Alright, so with that said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.